Shoplifting is one of the most common crimes committed in the modern day. You're a grown man. Stop acting like a little immature kid. And stores have started cracking down hard on it. But what happens when shoplifters get caught and arrested? I don't know. For what, sir? Shoplifting. What did I say? All black short sleeve shirt. Yes, t-shirt. Is it the two right there? Yep. All right. Oh, what did they take? Oh. Excuse me in the back. I didn't get the information yet, but I think it was a pocketbook. Pocket on July 17, 2023, officers of the Milburn Township Police Department, New Jersey, responded to the Burberry store in the Short Hills Mall for a report of a shoplifting that had just occurred. The store reported that two black females had shoplifted merchandise and left the store without paying. What did they take specifically? So blue, pink bottom bathing suit and, and a black, black t-shirt. Black t-shirt. Black. Me? Yes, ma'am. What Were you just in Burberry? Who me? Yeah, I was looking for a bathing suit. Did you leave with anything? No. So you're saying any footage that I just saw? You didn't see me leave with anything. Ma'am. Just so you know, I'm going to read your rights real quick. No, listen, you didn't see me leave you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against you in court of law. If you cannot afford an attorney, one will be provided to you by, you by the court. Do you understand your rights? Yes. You didn't see me touch anything or leave me. Were you with someone that touched something? Huh? No, we walked out together. We, I ate stuff for the baby suit. He checked his soul and he, did, he couldn't order it the next day. So I was like, all right. Uh, so you didn't leave with a pink bathing suit? A pink bathing suit? Pink bathing suit bottom? No, you can look on the camera. I never left with nothing. It's always interesting to see how confidently some people lie about this stuff. She's telling him that he can look at the camera, while in the meantime, the camera explicitly shows her stealing from the store. Is it the one with the bun or the one with Dan I took this it? This one. All right. Uh, do you have a video of her concealing it? Yeah. Well, this is the moment. A little bit. So she's holding these two shirts. I think they stashed it because they were really stashed right here? Yeah. We can review cameras. Well, this is, this is ours. That's yours? Were they trying to grab it from here? From, yeah, from us. Okay. Do you guys have that on camera here? Yes, sir. Yeah, I'll pull it up. Okay. Yeah, do you want to go with them to the back to see yeah. the cameras? Yeah. Proceeds. I'm going to go look at the camera with them real quick. Right then. The girls were caught stashing some of their stolen goods inside another store, likely to come back for it later just in case they were caught in a scenario like this. For some reason, they seem not to have thought about the fact that the Louis Vuitton store would also have cameras and caught them stashing the clothes. Can you get my sister my stuff here? No, put everything on you. You're down right now. Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. For what, sir? What am I going to take? For shoplifting. What did I say? You took a bathing suit bottom and bathing suit top. A you, put, you put it in your pants. It's all on in video. My pants? Yes, ma'am. I have nothing in my pants. All right, well, when we get down. Free. Like, that's crazy. Well. Just get my phone. Nope, phone stays with you. Everything on you. No, I don't need it. My it doesn't kids matter. need it. Okay. This is crazy. License ID? No, I'm not even from here. Maryland, Maryland you pulled it up. Do you want to provide yeah, your information to him? Yeah. So, like, explain to your sister if you if you lie, it's an extra charge. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. So, yeah. so you have a you have yeah. a Maryland yeah. license? Uh, yeah. So the, this is this. How how is the other that they provided? Yeah, yeah. 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 Footage right now. Uh, I'm gonna go back there real quick. Huh? She was just talking to the employer. Okay. There's nothing. Right, let's just confirm. Wait, you're still detained. Wait, you been divested too? No, no, I didn't say that. Uh, she's detained. We're doing our investigation. If we determine that you know, she needs to be arrested for a crime, obviously we will. But at this point in time, we're doing our investigation. That's what the other option. Too much was up. They're not even gonna at this point, it does seem like only one of the two women did any shoplifting. The other seemed to only be around to distract the workers of the store they were hitting. 
She still participated in the act, but didn't do any direct shoplifting. And there's the paladins. I got the top right here. Here's the shorts. They uh, stashed them behind. One of the things I really got off footage. Oh, perfect. That's uh, from Burberry as well. Yep. All right, and then we're going to grab the video of that. They also, I'm trying to figure out, she had this belt. She stashed that too. So She had the belt from that, Louis? That's a Louis Vuitton belt. Oh, she, she didn't realize she concealed it? it? Yeah, so she, she, she pulled up herself, concealed it with the shorts. Yeah. And then I guess when you guys came in, she... Wait, came which one concealed it? The one with the, the bigger one with the black the shirt? One, yeah. The, with the hair down. Yeah. Okay. I believe so, yeah. yeah. All right. The bigger girl that was that you uh, that Luke and uh, Reed were talking to. Okay. That was six ninety. Six ninety. Okay. Actually, before we cut her loose, yep. We still provide dispatch. We Did we get it. the phone? We still give it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, that's fine. That's what she wants. That's what she yeah. wants. It's, it's her phone. They are cutting the second woman loose because she didn't commit any theft. They could very likely charge her with something like aiding in theft. But the officers have probably decided that it isn't worth their time trying to pursue that. The stores also probably care more about the actual theft than someone trying to distract them. She's not doing this. Not. Yeah, when I talked to them on the phone, they wanted them both trespass. Okay. I was talking to this. Confirm. I'm just letting you know the whole situation. Yeah, I told them. Um, she's on probation. Is she's hanging out with someone. She's on probation. She is? Yeah. Cool. Um, U.S. Uh, this report or uh, federal probation? It says, I think Maryland. I'm, I'm just that's printed it down. I'm going to call. I'm going to call somebody down at the desk and just have them look and make sure that we don't have to make any contact or anything. Oh, no, we do. Yeah. Probation, you have to. Even out of state? <laughs> okay. It's police contact. Huh? If someone is on probation, any police contact is generally a detriment to them, and any contact has to be reported. Oh, you can have it. So, what, what's the term of your probation when you come into contact with law enforcement? Yeah. 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 Shantia is found to own a magnetic tag remover, which is a device to remove those plastic tags stuck to expensive clothes in stores. She claims it is for her boutique, but it comes in remarkably handy for anyone trying to shoplift. Also, if you bring a device like this into a story, police can charge you with burglary and not just shoplifting, because it shows you entered with the intent to commit a crime. Shantia was charged with two counts of shoplifting, Burberry and Louis Vuitton, possession of an anti-shoplifting or inventory control device, and hindering apprehension for giving false information to a law enforcement officer. She was released pending a court date. If you think this case was nuts, however, the next one will show you just how bold shoplifters can be. Put it down here, babe. Yo! Stop! Come here. Here. Stop. Babe! Babe, help! Oh, so I'm going out there in front of... In babe, front help! Of... Babe, help! Babe, help! Babe, help! Babe, help! Babe, help! Stop. For what? For what? Babe, help me! The woman being arrested here is Hannah Papendick, and she's being detained because she and her fiancé were caught on security footage loading their bags with products from a New Jersey Target. That didn't go over too well for her. Hannah 
Where are you coming from? Marshalls. Marshalls? Yeah. Where else? Margaret, Marshalls, and I went to Sierra. My fiance was at Target. That's who, that's who you're looking for. She's wearing a white shirt and, and gray shorts. Okay. Of course, telling well, you who she a, was. They said a female. Yeah, that's her. It's, it's, a, it's a female. Yeah. She has short hair, white shirt, gray pants. Hannah seems fairly ready to rat out her fiancé even when very little has been said to her so far. That clearly shows how their relationship is going. That's what I was going. I was telling you that she's down there. Okay. Yeah, but when I told you to stop, you started running away from her. Okay. Nothing. I, I went to, the, to, to Marshall's. She's really looking for her. I don't know. I'm saying, you know, they're not looking for her. She's down there. Where are you from? Burton County. Where are you down here? Um, I'm living down here right now because I'm, I'm homeless. So I'm living down in there with my fiance and my, and my friend. What's your fiance's name? Her name is Catherine. Catherine Watt. Um, last name is Henderson, H A N D E R S O N. She's right down there in the room. That's who What's I, the room? I heard her. What's the room? 105. I heard her calling for the woman outside of Target calling for her. And I told her to, to stop and like, to stop. But she kept going. But you weren't looking for me. You're looking for her. What's your name again? I forgot. I'm sorry. Hannah. Hannah? Mm -hmm. And your other one's Catherine? Is that what you said? Catherine with a K, yeah. Catherine with a K, and you're Hannah? Hannah, yeah. Okay. Hannah, do you want to show us your receipt? I mean, I'll be honest with you, everything over there, it's like a casino. We're going to find out what you stole and what you didn't stole. If you're lying to us that there's a receipt on here, it's not going to do you any good either way. It, 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 it's over at this point. So, do you really have a receipt on here, or do you not have a receipt on here? I have a receipt for, for part of them, and not all of them. I'll, I'll be honest with you. All right, all right. So, there is certain things that you paid for and certain things that you didn't. Yes, sir. All right. All right, do you, want to, do you want to pull that up? You don't have to show us. I'm just going to be honest with you. It's up to you. We're, we're going to go to the store, and we're going to find I'm out. I'm just going to scan, and they're going to tell us what was taking all this. Yeah. It wasn't. That's It'll just speed over. things along if, if you want to show us, but it's totally your decision. We're not going to go in your phone unless you give us consent. Okay, well, I can show you what was and what was if you want. No, that's all right. Okay. That's all right. We'll hold off. We'll in situations like this, officers will always verify with the store, even if there is a receipt proving that certain goods were purchased legitimately. It's much too easy to fake a receipt in the modern age, and officers will always side with the entity that has been wronged, which in this case is the store. Yep, that's definitely her. You said there's another female? Is that who she's with? Or this is who she's with? Okay. They've been here together at least one other time. She's been here two other times. Did this one steal anything? Yeah. Yes? That's today. actually who we were like physically watching today. Okay. Really? Yeah. Security systems like this one are increasingly common in stores around the country. People always think of security cameras as being low quality and grainy. But the technology has improved a lot in recent years. You'd be surprised at how detailed some of those cameras can get now. Hey. hey yeah, so probably everything in here is what she had. I just want to make sure there's no weapons or anything. I'm just going. I found this stuff already. You want me to go with you when you scan it? Just, yep. Uh, this is all from one person. Yeah. Just the person you can. Uh, no, this is the other girl. So the one you guys were watching, mm -hmm. it's the other girl who had okay. the dark long hair. Gotcha. So when I was in there with Chris, I saw her taking. So the one with the backpack. This one we don't have the merchandise. Right, but I think we know where she is. Okay. She's either a sitting in the woods next to her motel or b she's inside her room already okay because i don't have a total for that merchandise yep they are scanning this merchandise for two reasons the first is to check if she actually did pay for any of it even though the chances of that are slim to none at this point. The more important reason is to get a running total of how much everything costs, as that determines the level of crime that she will be charged with. Yes. Hello, how are you? Good. Is Catherine around? Who's Catherine? Catherine? White girl with short hair? Not that I know of. 
Not that you know of? Not that I know Is of. Is anyone else in there with you? No, not that I know of. I just got in here. I was next door, so Okay. I don't... Is this... You just take a quick look. We're just looking for Catherine I can't give you else. permission to do that. Is this your place? No, it's not my place. Whose it's place not. is it? It's A1's. It's A1's. Who's A1? He's a good friend of mine. Okay. But I can't give you permission. Okay. Do you know where the girl with short hair, does she stay here or stay... You know, I don't room? know. Well, do you see, I just, here's the thing. There's a minor thing that happened. Uh, we're just trying to end it right now. Otherwise, we got to put a warrant out for her. She's going to go right to the county jail. It's a little thing. If she's here, boom, 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 summons on her way. But if we don't find her today, she got a warrant, she goes right to jail. So you can... All right. All right. Okay. Okay. I just, we just got to leave this a little bit. You can, you can close her right there. Okay. What did she do? What did she do? I mean, if she's not like family, we can't really say, but I can tell you for sure that it's a, it's a minor thing, disorderly person's thing, not the end of the world. I think she knows. Hi, Catherine. How are you? Hello, yeah. Catherine. All right. Oh, don't go All right. Hold right. on a minute. Want to put that down? Thank you for coming out. We appreciate no it. We're going to yep. pat you down, make sure you didn't do anything. Okay. It's just a minor thing at Target. I think yeah, you know what it's yeah. about. Do you have any drugs or anything nope, on nothing. you that's going to hurt me, poke me? Nothing, nothing, no. nothing. All right. Okay. You good, Casey? Yep. So we yeah. just want to answer your question. Where's the bag that you took, that we saw on camera? Where? Back here. Where? Over here? Back in the... By the... Oh, over there by the dealership. By the dealership? If I drove you over there, could you show me where you threw it? I mean, kind of... I threw everything. Like, I threw it loose. Yeah? It doesn't make any sense to get yourself in so much trouble to steal a couple of things only to toss them when you get out. Just put your hands together like you're praying. You got any warrants, Catherine? Nope. You got any warrants? I don't know if I've never met you before. I've never been arrested before or not. It's a shoplifting. It's not the end yeah. of the world. We'll get you out in a summons and go to court. All right. All right. All right. Got your phone. Appreciate your cooperation. Good luck to you. All right. Yeah. Both ladies were arrested and charged with theft. Though this was a very recent case, and the trial and charges are still being finalized. If you think this case was nuts, however, the next one will show you just how bold shoplifters can be. Come here, boss. Come here. On June 7th, 2021, Gloucester Township's Target reported a shoplifting in progress involving a man who had done the same thing before. Robert Joyner III. He was spotted leaving Target and walking toward Lowe's carrying a black backpack. Sports check for life. The officer managed to reach out and grab the backpack from Joyner, but fell to the ground in the process, allowing him to escape. The backpack contained over $500 in stolen electronics. <laughs> Give me your other hand! Got it. <laughs> Rob, chill. Stop, Rob. Rob, chill. Stop, Rob! The officer sustained minor injuries and scrapes from when they tackled him and fell on the pavement. It's clear that they know who this man is, considering they keep calling him Rob. And that's because he's been arrested several times in Gloucester. On this day, he was also found to have 12 plastic bags of heroin on his person. Put your hand, Put this hand behind you, all right? Do you mind hanging out? You seen him chasing him? No, is he tapping you up there? Not me. Tackle one of your officers up there. Really, Rob? What's wrong with you, dude? Fight like one. Come on, man. You know the game by now, right? Joyner was known so well by the police because he'd already been banned from this target as he'd participated in 15 shopping instances just in that store alone. 
Several of those just involved assisting someone else, and there were a few in which the store did not press charges. But he'd been taken in for enough of them that he knew the process of being arrested fairly well. The combined loss to the store through his actions was just north of $23,000. Stop moving. Just sit there and relax. How many pairs of pants you got on, bud? Just lean right here and don't move, okay? Take him off. Fur away. Still. Stop. I got ideas in it. Have a seat. Back over target? Oh, yeah. I'm gonna grab this guy's stuff. Yeah. Get it all right? No, can you grab his info? I'll meet you at Target. Yeah, we're just trying to get it tracked. Just, yeah, he'll, he'll meet you in there, bud, all right? Yeah. Thank you. Cars. We're good, day. Yeah. Well, I gotta run today, man. It's hot. Yeah. It's hot today. What are you running for? Well, you ran from me. You got your ID on you so I can take that nice and easy? So uh, I, I don't actually have an ID on me. Don't worry about it. What's your first name, man? Uh, Chris, I, I didn't see anything. I'm right. I just seen him tackle the officer. Okay. And to be honest with you, with everything that's going on in this world, that pissed me off royally. Uh, so see, I, I, I didn't want to see, yeah, yeah. Yeah. see him get away with it. I'm right. Because you guys are out here to protect us, and everybody's giving you all and it's wrong. We appreciate that. It's wrong. I was coming out, right? Uh huh. And it was about halfway through the parking lot. Yeah. You're coming out of the load? Yeah. And then I heard, I seen the, the police officer light, you know, light his lights up. And then I heard, stop. And then he took off after the guy, and the guy grabbed the hole and threw him down on the ground. And then that's whenever he, he didn't see me. So I tried to catch him, but man, that dude was fast. And I ran, you know, I kept, I was hoping that he would think that I was maybe undercover or something. You know? Generally, police officers try to discourage this kind of behavior because it puts an everyday citizen in harm's way. He had no idea if Robert was a dangerous or violent criminal, as he hadn't seen the first part of the altercation. Despite this, generally, if a citizen helps to stop a fleeing suspect, they will not be charged with anything so long as their actions are reasonable. Is that your stuff? Yeah. Hey, Rich, can you just dump it on my heart right now? I just want to I gotta grab pictures and stuff of it real quick, alright? Fucking, okay, what do you think? Um, he had well, some they, concealed this stuff. Man. The beat stuff. Yeah, that's his own person. Okay. So you just dumped it all in here. Is this your bag too? Yeah. 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 We're good, sir. You're good, Jerry. The officers take pictures of the exact articles that were stolen because it gives them evidence to use at trial. It also helps them calculate exactly how much money's worth of goods were stolen, because that can change the crime or the degree of the crime that the suspect is being charged with. So, uh, no, can you get me a price for all that stuff? Yeah. Thanks. No, I try, I, he we just, what, what do we got going on? Just, he, uh, he picked up the bag and sealed all the stuff on the hood. He made it to, like, Lowe's when I was pulling up. I went to stop, I literally pulled right in front of him with loads, I got out, I said, yo, come here, and then 
But other than that, situation's under control. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you have, you have you know, He's destruction resistant by flight. Resistant by flight, yeah. Okay. I'll be right out with it. Yeah, thanks. Everybody's, nobody's hurt, everybody's good. Yeah, no. Because he, I, I grabbed his backpack over there, and when I grabbed it, he, slid, he just like pulled my whole weight, and I went and I fell, and then I got back up. I grabbed their stuff, and I just got in my car and went after him. Okay. Some guy chased him across the parking lot. Some random guy who saw me chasing him. <laughs> you got his info, right? Yeah, I got How many people? Just you two are fine here? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm going to go back out to the other thing on Pine Street. I might be able to do it. Yeah, yeah, you're good, okay. sir. I'm, I'm guessing these aren't his either. Or th these aren't yours, right? These, these two? Those aren't yours. Right. They're yours too? Yeah. There you go. Can you add them to that? Yeah. What's up, bro? Alright, give me a second. What's wrong with them? Too tight, my man? Yeah. You gonna be cool? Yeah. Alright, lean up for me. I'll, I'll roll the window down for you too, alright, bud? You want an ambulance or anything? Yeah. For what? The cuts? I'll get him to meet us at the police station, okay? So they can clean you up. Alright, my man. Can you lean, turn your body this way for me? There you go. Uh, 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 uh. I got, hold on, relax, but I got you. A little, put him in the front, man. Yeah, I can't put him in the front. Ah, oh, they're too tight. They're not tight. They is, I can't leave them on. Oh. Well, here, we'll flip this one around, alright? Don't do nothing stupid, alright? Uh. Here, take your hand up, turn that way. Turn that way. I'll clean your hand up, don't worry. Turn this way for me. Here, now give me your hand back. Straight back. Uh, uh, my arm might be broke, man. It's not broken. It's it hard to move. Okay, turn it back. Uh, Dude, you can put it behind your back, Rob. Hold on, I can't, man. Hold Rob, on. you can my, hold my hurting, man. I know, because you got cuts and stuff and it's hot. Uh, put your arm behind your back. Listen, listen, listen. You can put it in the front. I, I cannot. No listen to me. I cannot put him in the front. So uh, turn around. Uh, and I'm I'm going Police are not allowed to handcuff someone in front of their body because that gives them a wide range of motion that could be used to harm people. If someone has two large chunks of metal on their wrists and they're in front of their body, they can swing them around almost like a club to try to hurt people. It would defeat the entire point of the cuffs, which is to restrict somebody's range of motion. I'm gonna work with you, man. It's hot as I know it's hot as it ran. We won't be doing this. I'm telling Hold on, hold on. Let go of that for me. I'm not letting go of anything. You're out of your mind. I can't breathe. Why can't you breathe? Because it's too hot. Yes, it's hot. I understand that. I'm hot too. Okay, but you don't know if I can breathe or not. You, you're not in my body. I can't breathe. I'm telling you I can't breathe. What kind it's of respiratory serious. difficulty are you having? I can't breathe. All right, well then put your hand behind your back. I'll get you an ambulance. Turn around. Okay. Turn around. Okay. Go that way. Turn your whole body that way. Other arm. I can see your other arm. It, lo it looks fine. It looks just like that one. Hold on, hold on, hold on, man. It's hot as Five, can you come back out here for a minute? I got no air, man. I know. I'm going to roll the window down. But you need to turn around. I'm going to turn around. Hold up, man. You got to let me breathe. You need to let me breathe. You shouldn't have ran, and then we wouldn't have this problem. You, you got some water? No, I don't have water I can give you. I can give you water when we get to the police station. I it's promise you. Man. I know. I promise I will give you water when we get to the police station, all right? Can you roll this window down for me? Alright, Nick, I put your horn behind me. Okay, give me one minute, my man. My stuff. For a minute. I'm not trying no funny shit. Yeah. This is stuff. Just hang out here for a minute. Stuff. That's fine. He had to re re we have to readjust his uh his one coffee here. Alright. All right. If he was losing the ability to breathe, he would not be able to speak with the amount of conviction that he has. Loss of breath is a common issue in arrests, but when people claim that they can't breathe simply to get a few moments outside of cuffs like this, it becomes sort of boy who cried wolf situation. Robin, look to your left. Look to your left, bud. Turn your whole heart. Okay, I'm, I'm trying, trying to... man. Relax. I'm not doing nothing to hurt you, man. I'm trying to help I'm in you. pain. I know, and I'm I trying to help I can't breathe. You. That's part of your job. It is. And I'm Okay. I need an ambulance. I can't breathe. Okay. I'll get you one. I can't breathe. Man. Okay, I got you an ambulance. Can you show me a BLS unit? The males complaining of respiratory difficulty. One Charlie one, are you able to stop back here? Just tell the ambulance players up. They got you an ambulance, alright, bud? What kind of respiratory problems you having, bud? 
Well, well, that's not a respiratory problem. It's two, because you, you had a store in water. Did you tell them to give me some water. You just stole from them. They are not going to give you anything for free. It don't matter. You're an officer. You can give me water. Uh, yeah, when we get to, job, I advised you when we got to the police station, I was going to give you water. You can't wait, that's your job, man. It is my job, and I'm giving you the proper medical care. So if somebody died on the ride to the hospital, it's your fault. You You're not going to die you you don't in my police. I guarantee you, you will not die. I don't. I can't breathe. Well, I told you, I got your name. It was because you are complaining of respiratory difficulty. Not of dehydration. Dehydration is a totally separate issue. It, everything's included, man. No, it's not. It is too. You, you, need, you need water to breathe. And I'm a medical professional, and I know that's not the case. So if you're a medical professional, you can give me water, man. I you cannot. Right there. You can too. No. Whenever you go back in, just... Thanks. Yo, that's mine, so I had that They're before. not yours. They say, yeah, I had that before I went to school. That's my bag. I had that bag before I went to school. Don't start charging me stuff that I already had, man. Then why are they still sealed? It, it don't matter. And mine, I bought that already. When? You don't have me on camera still in that, Yes, man. they do. No, you don't. Well, we're going to find out in a minute. Because he's pulling the video now, sir. Okay, that's not on the video. That's, a, that's how good we get before. You're trying to charge me with stuff that I already had, No, man. I'm not. Yes, you are. I, I am not. You're in that bag. You seem like you're doing just fine to me, Rob. You're the one that first rolled up on him. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I have a chase. Always. I knew it, too. That's why I stopped my car in front of him. Yeah. Because I knew he was going, and I was like, God, I just couldn't get out fast enough. It was actually really interesting seeing him run. Well, the other guy, I don't know, some guy in Lowe's. Some Lewis, guy chased him down, yeah. Some guy, well, he thought he, he thought he shoved me. So right now he's got the Fitbits. Yeah. If you find those two things, that phone uh -huh. and the, the Vista headphones, yeah. call dispatch okay. and just ask for me. Because okay. I'm going to be inside Benelli. Benelli. 115. Because I'm going to be inside process. And okay. So just call me and say, hey, I found it. Because then, okay. Because of this incident, Joyner was charged with fourth degree resisting by flight, third degree possession of CDS, and criminal trespassing. Unfortunately, there is no information online on whether or not he was pursued in the trial. And considering his previous 15 shoplifting incidents, it's very likely that he was allowed to walk. You guys doing okay? Yes, sir. Yeah? Okay, uh, well, we got uh, we got a call here. Okay, we got a call here from management, and um, you know they said that they uh, have you guys been uh, trying to uh, take the the tags off the, the clothes. No, sir, no, no. Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. You have something in your sock there, sir. Turn around the other way. Oh, my lottery ticket. Oh, your lottery tickets. Okay. What else okay. is down there? Yeah. Don't do anything stupid. Okay. Stop. Look at this. No, 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 no. Let me have your hand. Stop. Let me have your hand. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Hey, sir, that's not no, no. Let me see it. Sir. Let me see it. And Open up your hand. Okay, you got it, sir. Uh, sir. You're going to get changed, buddy. Yeah. Yeah. Sir, okay. Back off. Sir, yeah. this is my money, sir. It's my money. Back off. Yeah. Oh, it's my money, sir. It's You're going to have a big problem if you do something stupid. Money. You understand me? My money, damn. Give me Fuck, man. A one three central one detained. Detain her real quick. No, no, move back. I'm sorry. Stop. Detain her real quick. Anything else? Any person? Any guy? No. Back. My name's Chris Baker, Officer Baker. Okay. You have some in your sock that you shouldn't have. We tell you not to do anything dumb. All right. The business wants you trespassed. Okay, and then you start trying to hide it in your hands and everything else. All recorded. Okay, that's fine. Okay? My money. Under, yeah, so we can work through that. Don't be dumb, is I'm what sorry, I'm trying okay, to say. Yes, sir, I'm sorry. Yeah, okay? okay that's why you're in handcuffs. Yes, sir, right there. Go ahead, detain her. Okay. Put her in cuffs. Set of cuffs yes. The two people you just saw being detained are Honesty and her boyfriend, which you'll see is ironic in a few minutes. In late 2022, officers received a call from a local dollar store claiming that these two were removing tags from items and attempting to hide them on their person, likely to shoplift. Stand right here, facing the way. Yep. Yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah. That's what I saw. What was that? We'll figure it out in a minute, man. Okay? All right. Ma'am, you're going to walk with this officer? I haven't patted him down. He was concealing in his pocket and trying to get stuff out. I have a sock. Get him to the unit and let's pat him down properly. Okay. 
you have any things that come close? Stand right here by these twinky things. Was that in her pockets, in her pocket? Yeah, it was in her pocket. This belongs to him. Right. Yeah, and then this. The cash belongs, belongs to him. Yeah. That was in her pockets? This was in her pockets, yeah. She what says is it's from here. And their underwear? Their kids' underwear. This, I don't know what it is. This is from here also, correct? Yeah. yeah. Okay. You're going to get a citation as long as you don't do anything stupid. And you're going to go about your business. Okay. okay? My dad just needed some underwear. And we'll figure through this, but I like I said. more in my bra. You have more clothing in your bra? Yeah, it's underwear. You have any drugs? Any other drugs on you that I need to know about? No, I'll That's shake true. it all out. Okay. I'll shake it my bra. We'll get it out over here, okay? Go ahead and... Let me get with it. Let me get with yeah, it. take that. Yeah. Okay, no, we're not not right now, but yes. We're gonna walk to the front door. You are, let me show you. Mm -hmm. uh, can I put this on the counter here? She took these, she says they belong here. Okay. I don't know. This she says it belongs here. Okay. Uh, we don't do those. Yeah, no, no, no. But that's what she had in her possession. Oh, okay. Alright. Um, what do you call it? So can you get me pricing on that, please? Mm -hmm. Uh, descriptions, pricing, and what she has. She's got some more stuff on her in her. Uh... We're gonna walk to the front door. I appreciate your honesty. Do you have any wants or warrants? The officer saying, I appreciate your honesty, doesn't even know that it's her name yet, which is quite funny. Even so, she has lived up to her name so far. She has been honest with the officers, even divulging that she was hiding more items in her bra. I need to be aware of. I need to read you something, I want you to pay attention, okay? You're under arrest at this point for shoplifting, for your own admission. Anything you say can and will be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to talk to a lawyer, have one represented or appointed to you before any questioning, if you wish. At any time, you can exercise these rights and not answer any of my questions. You understand these rights as I've explained them? Yeah. Good. Where did you guys, how did you guys get here? Um, uh, my friend dropped us off. Is he going to pick you back up when he called them or text them? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and put him in mine. Love you, baby. Tell my dad, buy me out, baby. Talk to okay. Go ahead and have a seat. It's just not necessary. If you guys would have just talked to us and done what we asked, you guys would have received a criminal trespass warning and gone about your business. None of this would have happened. But his actions dictated this. Okay? What's your first name, young lady? Honesty. What is it? Honesty. H O N. E S T Y? Yes. Last name? A L V A. O L. Okay. What's his name? Um, you Your boyfriend. Wanna, you want to let him do all that? He's going to do it too, but what's his name? I'm asking you because you're with him. Your boyfriend. Yeah. What's his name? I just don't want to do with that. I'm sorry. Okay. Well, you're obstructing an investigation at this point. This yes. one you can go to jail because I'm asking you information relative to why I'm present. Okay, of him identifying himself, you helping me to show, because I have it on camera, you guys are together, you calling him baby, I want to verify your, your guys' story. Okay, what is his first name? So Conley Elementary? I can get in trouble for not saying that. Yeah, that's what I'm trying to tell you. I just need his name, I'm not asking for his date of birth. Okay. Can I get in trouble for not wanting to say anything about another person? Do we really want to go down this route? I'm just asking what their name is. Okay, his name, your boyfriend's name. What is his name? Cool. His name is Albert. His what? His name is Albert. Last name? Um, hmm? Um, Thank you. It's Albert Sandoval. Albert? Albert, not Angel. The year was 94. Okay. I don't understand why I have a seat. For have a seat, please. Please have a seat. Thank you. No, but can you explain that? To I will here in a minute, okay? When you write like speak, the case isn't that like in other words you don't have to speak? A13 Central. A13. Do we have any female officers working? She still has items in her clothing. I have uh, 972 on the way to make sure there's nothing else. No other code 16. Real quick, young lady, I'm going to have you get inside. Okay, look real quick before you sit down. There's nothing in here. 
Okay, if there's anything left in here, you alter anything, there's also a camera running. Yeah. Okay, if you alter anything that's tampering with evidence, that's a fourth degree felony. Go ahead and get inside the vehicle. Brother, you can help yourself right now, well, or she's going in. Or I can cut her, or give her a citation and cut her loose. What do you want? You're gonna keep, you're gonna keep lying? Okay, she's got shit, she's got stuff on her. Okay. She's got stuff on her, okay? What? That's what you want. You, you want her to go in with you? That way both of you can walk in with hands? Hell? The officer is talking with him like this because when he emptied his pockets, this man had a pocket full of drugs. The officers are trying to determine whether or not the woman is also carrying drugs, because if she isn't, they'll likely just write her a citation for shoplifting and let her be on her way. They can arrest her for it, but most officers will just write a citation for that kind of minor theft. Start giving us the information that we need. We're asking for your name. Give us your correct information. Stop playing games. You're, you're a grown, grown man. Stop acting like a little immature kid. Now, I could, I could cut her loose with a citation or take her in. What do I mean to do? It's up to you. Yeah. The information you're giving us. What is your name? What is your complete right. name? We got it. You did get we it? He's, he's got uh, six blues. It looks like six blues. Let me show them to you. Yeah, look, look at yeah, but yeah. Yeah. First name honesty. Which is not what we've been dealing with. So they were in the process, what looked like shoplifting, removing tags, altering tags, never actually passed all points of sale, made contact with the front of the business, management requests them trespass. As we make contact with them, talking to them, you can see that there's a foreign object in his clothing, in his sock, on his right leg, uh, which looks like the, the good. electronic signal devices, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're like, hey, get that out of there, no, 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 don't do anything dumb. He gets it, tries doing this, and tries going to his mouth. Boom, me and him go hands on. He's initially resisting. You get his hands behind his back, put him in cuffs. She tries. Did, go, did you get the rest of the stuff out of her? Or no, have I have a female that? officer because okay. she says it's in her bra. Okay. Uh, that's, what she had. that's what she had. Did we get a total for the items that she has that we the know of? That she had there, they're running a total on it. Okay. But I, didn't, I told them not to finish it until, until we, we get, get the it. other items. Right now with her, we have tampering or obstructing either way because there's the, there's the tampering misdemeanor. Do you want to copy a positive 20? She has warrants. Go ahead. Her honesty is she's coming back with the mini 40 for concealing identity. She has a non extraditable 40 out of El Paso for. Looks like bail secured bond with the original charge of code 16. It's non extraditable. The police were offering to let her go because they thought that she was only on the hook for shoplifting. But they just learned that she had several warrants for her arrest. Surrendered on an ID card. I'm Derek. Can you send a chat with the OLN to 975's log and start confirmation? She's also got work. Muni. So let me call Sarge real quick because we're going to need Metro and since she was trying to tamper with the evidence on yeah. two different occasions. So we need to call Sarge. Let him know that we need Metro Narcotics and give them a brief rundown okay. of why and what we got, how we got here. Okay? Okay, sounds good. And it's gonna be Sergeant, yeah, Sergeant Walker. Do you have your personal phone? I have my personal phone, yep. Yeah. Do you have his number? I don't. All right, I'll just give him a ring-a-ling. Okay. And I'll give you his number here in a minute. Okay, perfect. You're gonna call him on yours then, right? Yeah. All right, uh, we come to the call, Family Dollar, North Main. Uh, looks like they're trying to shoplift, right? We get on scene, they're altering tags. They haven't actually passed any points of sale, but they're requesting them trespassed. They point them out to us, we walk up to them, we tell them why we're here, and that they're gonna be trespassed. We see a foreign object in the sock of the male subject's clothing. She has stuff stuffed in her clothing, which I have 972 removing at this time. Guy has warrants, girl has warrants. So, requesting Metro. Alrighty, sir. Alright. Later. Do you have a bra on? Yeah, right? It's a sports bra. No law requires a female officer to be the one to search for a woman. 
but generally it is considered good practice and hospitable care for one to do so. A lot of the time, that means if you're being cooperative, the officers will call a woman officer down to the search. If you're being rude or uncooperative, oftentimes a male officer will just search and get it over with. Socks from here? No, these are my socks. No, these. Go ahead and no, that one's go ahead and put your slippers in. There is more sympathy for Honesty than for her boyfriend online because most of what she took was children's clothes for her daughter, whereas Albert seemed to be mostly stealing for himself. Lunch? I need lunch. <laughs> so do I. We get him outside. He has like four warrants. The girl has a warrant. We verify what was in that bag. The bag has meth. What looks like heroin and six blues. Uh, the girl had a bunch of uh, property still stuffed in her clothes. So I got her for shoplifting, obstructing, tampering, because we had to tell her multiple times to get away, and you can see her on camera trying to kick the truck. Was he injured at all or anything? No, not at all, sir. And then trying to conceal it and tamper with it while we were present. Were you injured at all? Do you think that? Something like that? Okay. Um, then you had the warrants and all that stuff? Okay. All right. And then all the other stuff we'll chat with you about, all right? All right, man. Within five to ten minutes from the Albertsons on North Main. We're just finishing up here. Ah, snap. Yeah, that's cool. Okay. Cool beans. We'll be there. Do you want the female there, too? Do you not want her? I don't care. That's up to you. I was going to charge her with shoplifting and obstructing at the very least for sure plus she has a warrant okay no the guy was and then she was just trying to kick it out of where we were and closing distance on us and then once we got him in cuffs and moved him to the side she again closed distance trying to kick it out of the way sounds fabulous sir cool later all right okay i think she did kick it the second time she was trying to kick it the yeah, first the time. The first time, yeah, but the second time, I think that's when... No, I watched her do it. Oh, okay. It's all on my camera. Oh, okay, okay, no, no. All right, uh, Metro, don't really care about her. Um, so what we can do is this, if that's cool with you. You just take her West 81 when we take him. We'll knock out the paperwork, and then if you just pick it up, drop her off at the DC, if that's cool, because yeah. we're going to have to stick out with him. No, I'm going to do the receipt. I'm just going to do cash, and then I'll return it. Oh. Okay. Okay. Just away to make sure. This is the stuff that Pro you guys only gross, found on her. Low cut white. That's the size. Mm -hmm. okay. uh, Mickey boy. Uh, Mickey boy's briefs. Mm -hmm. Okay, seven fifteen. Foundation four dollars. Uh, Modessa marble blending sponge. Okay, that's two dollars. So a total of uh, twenty eighty. Without the tax, twenty eight. Okay, sounds good. Okay, sir. Thank you, you got everything there. Give us a call if you if you have problems. Okay, if okay. you need the video for that, then we'll, we'll let you know on that. Okay, appreciate no it, sir. Thank you. Have a good day. They already confirmed this. Oh, you got one. Uh, for concealing. Concealing identity. Are you sure? Uh, I went to court on that and they dropped my charges. Are you gonna have to take it up with the judge again? Yeah, that's very weird. Yeah, yeah. Me, judge. It was municipal. Oh, so it was a magistrate? <laughs>
What is municipal? Do you guys? Municipal. Yeah, it's the city court. Oh, okay. Did you have an uh, outstanding case pending? No. Mm -hmm. For like a traffic stop or shoplifting or something? Mm -hmm. Probably a previous okay. shoplifting. I'm just going to guess, right? Um, no, I think it's, uh, I think, um, I think it's concerning identity, too. It's concealing. It's concealing identity? Okay. No, that's been a long time for that one, but that, I thought it had been a long time. Okay. You got the warrants, okay? All right. So, no injuries? Okay. Yes, sir. We found a guy with meth, heroin, and blues. No, we're leaving Albertsons on North Main now. Mm -hmm. I don't care, dude. I'm on till 1.30. Cool. Both Honesty and her boyfriend were taken to the police station and processed. But there was very little information online after that. It's unknown if they went to trial or settled outside of court but hopefully they've gotten away from the lifestyle they were leading. Either way, shoplifting is being cracked down on more and more these days, with the big stores taking a solid stance against it.